Girl, now I'm used to being the girl. You're sitting on your feelings and sitting on my throne. I ain't got no time for the troubles in your eyes. This time I'm only looking at me, myself, and I. I'm going so low. I'ma do it all. I'm going so low. So low, I'm going so low, 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 low. I'm going so low, 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 low. Girl, now I'm used to being the girl. You're sitting on your feelings and sitting on my throne. I ain't got no time for the troubles in your eyes. This time I'm only looking at me, myself, and I. I'm going so low. I'ma do it. Hi guys, it's your girl, my virtual world, aka Brittany. So it's another story time. You know, I'm just holding my phone while I'm chatting with you guys. <coughs> but I don't want to get too emotional. You know, I was just crying earlier, just thinking about some things and I don't want to make this person relevant. You know what I mean? Like to sh just for it to seem like he still has an effect on me, which when certain event, uh, <laughs> certain events, certain events that happen that occur, you know, in your life, like those certain events, you know, will touch you deep in your heart when somebody really has a true meaning to you like you really had love for that person and i really had so much love for my ex and i know i'm supposed to finish my story time on from being in california when i was 15 when my mom married my stepdad and we had moved to mississippi Oh my gosh, my nose. Oh, I look like a piggy. But anyways. So. <clears throat> I'll finish that story. <clears throat> next time. But I just want to put out. This one right here. This story time in particular. Is. Um, okay, let's see. In 2010. Um, an event had happened between. My kids. Father and I. And he ended up leaving and going back to his home state in North Carolina. And then, you know, I thought I would, you know, do good here in Vegas without him or whatever. So I was staying with um, one of my best friends at the time. We were staying with her. And then her mom was like on some weird stuff and started stuff between me and my best friend. Cause she didn't like how close we were and whatever. So I was like, I don't have to deal with this. And I'm very impulsive, like... When I'm in the moment, I just roll with the punches. So I just took my stuff, got my kids, and just left. Like, I was not having it at all. Like, I'm not going to have her mom come up here and ruin my friendship with her and whatever. But I guess she was, like, taking it to heart and doing the most or whatever. But I forgave her. But this is not about her right now. It's about what happened. So... We were in Washington for a good minute. I had got back afterwards with the kids' father. And I'm thinking that things are going to change because he promised that they were going to change because he wanted his family back. He wanted to be with me. He wanted to be with his girls. So I was like, okay, fine. Let's get back together. Hopefully you are a changed man. Maybe we can get, the, get it right for the kids' sake. So, you know, we're together. And then he had got the job that he wanted. So we had to kind of move because we were in like Vancouver in Washington state. So we had to move up to Port Angeles in Washington. So we go up there, we have a spot and we were there for a little good minute and things still didn't work out. And I, I had to finally draw the line and just say, look, you're not happy. I'm not happy. Me and the kids got to go. Like they can't stay with you. You know what I mean? You're going to be at work. You're going to be doing stuff. Like, you're not going to have any time for them. And I'm not going to let just anybody watch my kids. And you know that it would be hard to, you know, pay for them to go to day uh, daycare. Oh, my gosh. Every time I talk fast, I talk crazy. But anyways, yeah. 
wouldn't have enough money to pay for them to go into daycare or to have a babysitter. So I was like, they have to be with me. I'm going to be a full-time parent to my kids. And so I was like, we're going to move back to Vegas because I know a few people will be okay. So I moved back here in like, I want to say... 2013 or 2014 I think it was like 23 2013 or 2014 so we moved back and it, me and the girls have been here I was doing good and then I met my ex that I had got with over here like I'm gonna bypass certain things like I said because I don't want to make this super long but it probably is already gonna be super super long but yeah, so I met my ex. I'm not going to say his name, so I'm going to make up a name. So we're going to call him Beehive. So I met Beehive, okay? And if you guys don't already know, I do like to date African Americans. My kids are mixed. So I'm definitely not racist. I love. I do love all colors all shapes and forms of people not biased but anyways <sighs> we get together and stuff and at first how i met him was on a dating site i'm not even gonna lie to y'all i'm gonna keep it all the way real and i would only go on there because i'll be bored you know what i mean like when the kids go to sleep i get lonely so I was just seeing who I could talk to. I wasn't really trying to, you know, get with anyone, like be in a like, full-on relationship. Because it seemed like anybody I talked to, it didn't work out. Like there was just always something. So every time I see him, I was like, I don't really like him. You know, he's too skinny. He doesn't really got meat on his bones. He's not really good looking. It's not going to work. Like I'm not giving him the time of day. And then he just kept being persistent. He just kept hitting me up, hitting me up hitting me up so then I was like you know what this dude is really trying to get my attention let me give him a shot let me see what he's about so I give him a shot just for him to waste my time just for him to waste my time crazy right I know so I'm trying to move my little hair since it's short but we're together and at first it was really good like it wasn't really bad and you know there was things that he had did that would make things questionable but I still like gave him a chance and I really wanted to be with him so I said I fully do just want us to be together let's make this happen I love you you know I want you to like mainly just stay with me I don't want you living anywhere else not knowing he was in a relationship before he got with me. That's not what was told to me. He said he had a female roommate. But later on in our relationship, we get in an argument. And he said, oh, you knew what you was getting into. I was in a whole other relationship. And you wanted me to be with you. No, that's not how it happened. That, no. Stop lying. I did not know that. You said she was a female roommate. But why do these men got to lie for but anyways, I don't know if he just said that to, like, make me mad, but whatever. If he's going to say I knew something, it was that he was, you know, an ass. Sorry, kids, if any kids watch this, but I shouldn't even cuss. Anyways, he was a-hole, you know, lying, treating me like dirt. Saying certain stuff to me just because I be having little slow moments. Like I told you guys, I do have little slow moments. You be thinking I'm blonde or something if you be around me. But then there could be times you have a conversation with me. And I can talk very, very intelligently. Okay? Very intelligently. <sighs> but, like, any little the certain things that I would do. Like, I explained to him my life story and everything so that he can have a better understanding. But he didn't really care to, you know, if he really listened and if he really cared, he'd understand that. So, every time, like, <coughs> certain things that I would do, he'd be like, damn, boo. You're so slow. 
they should have gave you a check. I'm losing my voice, you guys, but he just put me down. He'd make me feel like <clears throat> I wasn't good enough. I didn't look good enough. I wasn't smart enough. And he would talk to other females, embarrassing me and saying that he wasn't doing none of that stuff. And even if he was, it shouldn't matter because I'm, I'm always with him. He's always with me. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make it okay for you to be going and talking to just anybody. Like, why would you do that to me? But I feel stupid because I still stayed with him. And it just kept happening. He, you know, treat me like ish half of all the time. And only when he really wanted something is when he would be all sweet to me. And I was a sucker because I kept going for it and going for it. And he would say that in the text messages too. I Like when me and him weren't living together. And, you know, I was trying to make sure that I got me and the kids a spot and so that he could come stay with us. He was still staying with his sister. Like I said, I'm cutting, like, different parts off so it won't make this whole story time super long. But just to get to the bottom line, they, he would just put me down, put me down, and say that you're a sucker, this and that, and just laugh at me. And then again, when he really wanted something, he'd be all sweet. And then there would be times where... He would say, you don't get it, you're stupid, this and this and that. And then I would get calls from these random females talking about, she's with him, I'm stupid, let me stay being stupid for him and for me to keep sending him money so that he can get her nails done, this and this and that. And I confronted him about that and he was telling me, that's not true, that's not true. Um, let's call them up together and um, confront them and see if they say the same stuff. So he was talking to them and he was just laughing and he was like my boo ain't tripping off of you whatever i'll make uh i'll have you something right in front of her and she ain't gonna say nothing it's just it was a crazy relationship and i'm glad he's out of my life now it took me a long time guys trust me i didn't cut him off really quick yeah i was stupid i should have known better being how old i am but i really did love him and i didn't want to let him go i did that with when with my kids' dad I stayed with him for the longest time because I didn't want to be a broken home, like a broken family. Like, I wanted my kids to have their dad in their life. I never did have my dad in my life till I pretty much was an adult. Like, you can't get time like that back. And I wanted my kids to have their father and their mother. But if you guys have questions about, you know, what happened... How did I deal with the whole thing or whatever? I cried. I was hurt. I was angry. And finally, just up to recently now, I finally seen his real colors because I skipped a part. While this whole time, he would cheat and he would lie and all that stuff. And he would stop talking to me because I didn't even say all that. He stopped talking to me. He cut me off. Or I'd cut him off because I'd be tired of his stuff. And then later on, I'd be missing him, and then I'd let him back in, or he, he'll he find a way to contact me. He wouldn't just let me go, because he knew I'd be a sucker for him. I'd take him back, whatever. I had those moments for him, very, very weak moments, and he knew it, so he took advantage of it. So he'd just come back, and be like I said, he'd have his little sweet moments, and then he'd, back to, he'd be back to being an a-hole and doing the same old stuff. And he would swear to me because he already had two kids with um, his baby mother who's not here anymore. She died a year, a few years ago. Bad accident or something. I forgot what happened. But I just know that she is not here no more. God rest her soul. I'm very cool like that. I don't know her so I don't have no drama against her. But he's not involved in his boys' life. The grandmother has them and she doesn't want him to have no part in their lives. So he really wanted to have more kids. And so he was telling me he was going to have a whole bunch of different babies. I don't know if he was just jokingly talking about that. But I know I said I wanted to have a son because I have three daughters. And it would be nice if I had the son with him because I am with him and I love him. And we would have a beautiful baby. So as time went by, right, he swore up and down he would not do that to me. He even met my mom. When my mom finally moved down here to be with me after my grandma had passed, I was like, Mom, you need to be with me. The care that you need and all the stuff, you can get that here in Vegas. I just want my mom. I've been going through some stuff. I really need you. 
to have my back and all that stuff. So she came out here to be with me and the girls. I had my brother come out here first, my youngest brother. And anyways, so he told my mom, just like he said in front of me, that, oh, your daughter knows I would never hurt her. I wouldn't do that to her. I wouldn't do her dirty like that. I wouldn't just go be with somebody else and get them knocked up. Not denying that he would mess with somebody else. He just said he wouldn't get them knocked up. Like, they wouldn't be allowed to have his kid. That it would only be reserved for me to have his next child. To have his baby boy. So, I'm like, whatever. So, we'd have our moments, like I said, when I'd call him on his bullish And cut him off because I knew that he was playing me. You know, he would get mad. He'd be like, oh, you were mad at me? You didn't want to talk to me? So, he'd stay away again. That was his excuse. Because I, I was upset with him and I didn't want nothing to do with him. That was his excuse to go again and cheat on me. And apparently he was talking to somebody else and got her pregnant. And then this woman had the nerve to call me a homewrecker. But I was with him for the longest. And he was cheating on me. So pretty much he was cheating on me with her. <laughs> and you're calling me a homewrecker? How? How? Like I said, nobody ever knows the truth. Like I said, you know, I'm never going to knock what other people do. Like I said, if if the guy is talking to you, you're going to talk to them or whatever. Because you really don't know what's going on. But he was playing me. He was mine. The whole, the whole point it's to me is, like I said, I'm not judging nobody, none, none of that. But he was with me. For her to call me out and say, I'm a homewrecker, honey, if he didn't tell you about me, you need to know about me now. So I let her know because she would talk a whole lot. And then she blocked me. I wrote I wrote him from all my daughter's stuff just to make sure that he knew that I had wrote him to let him know that she was messaging me crazy stuff and then blocking me. And he was like, oh, yeah, that's my baby mama doing that. She crazy. Uh, but she can't stop me. I'm going to talk to you all that I want to. You will always be my boo. All that stuff. That's what he said to me. And he would pull up in her car and all that stuff. And I'm telling him, like, you're pretty much telling me to my face that you are in a relationship with her. But all this other stuff. But why are you coming over here and seeing me? Why are you rolling up in her car? And then she has the nerve to say something to me. You need to say something to her and let her know, like, who I am and all that stuff and that you're the one coming around me. I'm not the one just coming and hitting you up. You reached out to me. You would check on me and ask me what I'm doing and if I could, you know, help you out and give you some money and all this other extra stuff to look out for him that she's not able to because she has to take care of, you know, the roof over their head and bills or whatever and taking care of their son and she got other kids that was you know not with him and I'm like okay but I'm a single mother with three kids and you rather take from me and I'm dumb enough to give it to you even though I know I was good and the kids are gonna be good I still would help him out which I shouldn't have because again I should have known better like I said, the love that I have for him, that's just, that's the kind of big heart I have. And people always take advantage of that, but not no more. And so I'm, that's why I'm very skeptical on being with somebody because like now my mentality is on something so much more than what it was before that if I don't see somebody having that matched mentality as me, it's unattractive and I'm not going to like you no more. I'm not going to want to talk to you. I'm not going to want anything to do with you, period. We could be friends. We could be cool. But to take it further, it's just not going to happen. And certain, thing I'm not, certain things I'm not okay with, especially on social media, there's certain things that you should post and certain things you shouldn't post. It's just it's common sense. You should know better, especially when you have family or friends that be on there. Like I'm not going to, especially if it wasn't something I directly wrote and it was like quotes or something from somewhere else. You got to really watch out on what you post on there. I remember I'd post certain stuff and my grandma, she would always say, why are you posting that? So if my grandma's checking me, checking me on stuff that I would post, it's just telling you something that it is being seen. You have family and friends that be on your stuff. And if they're not checking you on it, then I'm going to check you on it. 
I want to be real if I'm not going to say anything to you. Why would you post that on your page? Especially if you're trying to be just anything. Anything you're trying to do. If you're trying to be an influencer or whatever. Why? Why would you post it? Tell me. Why? Why would you post it? So like now I got to watch everything I post. If I'm going to be on YouTube. I got to watch everything I post. You got to be very cautious of it. And yeah. This story time was long enough for me. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, just comment down below. You guys can say what you want about me. But that was my experience with him. I finally had cut him off. It's a wrap. I don't know if he's keeping his distance. I know that he tried to talk to me even after the fact. And I told him I'm not going to allow him or anybody else to disrespect me. And I'm definitely not going to have his baby mama disrespect me if she don't know the truth. Because he said I don't have love for him no more. That, um... I'm like pretty much portrayed him in a way or whatever. For what? Because I told her the truth because she kept coming at me because I'm cutting you off because I'm not going to deal with it no more. No, you did all that. Not me. You. And karma will find his way back to him. If it don't, then God really highly fire. Uh, fire. God truly favors him. And I will never curse him. I would never want anything bad to happen to him. I wish him nothing but the best. I've told him that. But he needs to just stick with her. But like I said, karma is a mug. And it will come back to you. Because it definitely came back on me for certain stuff that I should have never done. But I'll save all that for you guys in the next story time. I love you guys. Bye my virtual family. Mwah.